playing Project Zomboid and find the game to be a bit more difficult out the gates than you expected, here are some beginner tips I would tell anyone if they are first starting out. When you make your first character and enter a new world for the first time, the game will put you in a house that is empty of zombies. Use this to your advantage. Start sneaking while looting your first house, the C key, and your chances of attracting the zombies from the yard to the house are lessened. If you die and press new character, you will spawn in the world of your dead character. This means you can go find your zombie, kill it, and get your stuff back. You can get your base back, cars, and everything. The downfall is, when you first spawn into the game, you may run into an issue where the game puts you in a house already with zombies. It will try to place you somewhere without zombies, but it can happen. You just spawn into a world as a new character. What should you do first? Kitchen, closets, and garages will have weapons you can use. Kitchen, frying pan, or pot, or griddle. They aren't durable, but you can use them until you find something else. Closets? You can get lucky and find crowbar, but more likely you will find a hammer. Hammers are really useful, much more useful than you expect. Garages? You'll likely to find metal pipes. They're useful and will tide you over to find something more durable. Weapons I would avoid. I would avoid all knives, and try not to use any stabbing weapons that aren't spears, such as screwdriver. These weapons have animations that may catch you unaware when fighting a group of zombies. Solo zombies will be easy. Spawn and looted your house and have a decent weapon, or maybe you don't. What now? Avoid looting food items that aren't light. Focus on things such as chips, or fresh fruit, or peanuts. Your first spawn, you won't need any canned goods. Priority items for a new spawn. Bandages, alcohol, wipes, any bag, water bottle, weapons that aren't guns. Before you leave, check if there's a trash can on the lot. Inside almost every trash can is a garbage bag. You can wheel the trash bag in your off hand and it will increase your carry weight while keeping your main hand free. Otherwise, drop unnecessary things and prepare to move on from your first home. When you leave your home, understand that the game uniformly drops zombies into urban areas, so they will be everywhere. It can be easy to get overwhelmed, but the best tip you can be given for surviving outside your first home is that you will walk faster than the zombies. Assuming you aren't playing with sprinter zombies, avoid sprinting yourself and simply walk away from the zombies. Practice with it, and you'll find you can walk away from huge groups. Get good at it, and you can walk around those huge groups and lead them away. That leads us on to our next tip, leading zombies away. So you found out you can simply walk away, but this giant group of zombies is following you. What now? Break line of sight and sneak. Go on the other side of a building and sneak. Then continue on sneaking while keeping line of sight broken. Zombies will follow you based on sight and sound. Sneaking will cover sound and breaking line of sight will cover sight. Honestly, Mastering walking away from zombies and hiding from a large group will open up the game to you more than anything else I can tell you. Now that you have your basic gear and you are comfortable walking away from zombies, what next? Picking a location to loot and finding a base. Either of these will happen next depending on where you happen to spawn into the game. Let's start with finding a base. Here's what you should focus on. In the base game, large fences cannot be broken by zombies. These are very tall wooden fences that you cannot see over, or very tall metal fences that you can see through. These are your bread and butter for base locations. Find one of these locations and all you have to worry about is one entrance. Level your carpentry or metalworking and you can block that area off or get lucky and find one of the areas completely covered by large fences. Looting locations. This will actually be strange to hear, but avoid looting homes. Homes that do not have garages or are not large homes themselves will not have high priority items you're looking for, or if they do, the chances of it having them are much lower. What you want to focus on are the industrial, community services, and medical buildings. Use your map, the M key. Buildings will be colored based on what they are. Pink buildings for medical will contain all things medical that are in the game. Community services, that blue buildings can be fire stations or police stations containing relevant gear. Industrials are black buildings, factories or storage buildings. Honestly, the industrial buildings can contain so many things it's hard to mention them all. They are priority number one when I first start the game. You have far greater success looting these buildings than looting a house. 